Hey guys, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Sebastian Padre Ibarra has a few gems of his own up his sleeve waiting for us here in Haywood. Uh, so we're going to head out and uh, tackle those. But before we do, I want to just take a quick look at our upgrade screen. As uh, we just got hold of... We just got hold of that new pair of trousers last time, didn't we? Um, but I completely forgot to see if there's any upgrades available. I, now, I don't know how this works. We've just purchased it. I don't know whether purchasing something uh, from the Atelier puts it at one level below maximum, like when you craft it. Yeah, apparently it does. But okay, at least we got, uh, we got one little level out of it. Let me see. Is there anything else that we currently got on that we can upgrade? No. There isn't. Okay, that's about it. But at least we know that uh, our trousers are finally at the maximum level of protection possible after um, <laughs> embarrassing us so out in the open what? there in you the Badlands. Okay, so let's just take another little look. Um, I'm going to take a look again at Sebastian's last text message to us uh, just to see what we're actually up against. So, um... His first and only missing person text message, I should say. So, yeah, it's Jax Kermuth that we're after um, from a shack in an alley in Republic Way. Uh, simple gig, need you to verify someone's work. He's new and strangely eager to serve, sending you the location. So, I, I didn't really take much notice of this. I was, I was too worried about my car uh, rolling off of the highway whilst I was reading this message. Um, so, hold on. We need to verify somebody's work. So, presumably, Jax Kermuth is someone that this this new eager individual has put away. Um, like, when I say put away, I mean obliterated, presumably. Uh, let's see. Right, so it's all the way over here in Vista. Okay. Well, hop back in Beast and uh, tear up some streets. I'm wondering whether this uh, truly is the best vehicle for um, traversing the... Oh, God, no, I think we're going to have to pick something else up soon. Um, yeah, we're, we're not going to be nipping through streets quite as nimbly as I'd usually like. <laughs> in a, um, in a Thornton Mackinac. Okay, right around here. Okay, so it wants us to cut through this, uh, this little side alley area. Okay, it looks more like, uh, it's more like a bustling market than a small side alley, to be honest. Who's that over there? Oh, Tino's. Okay, we're all right. I need to uh, need to stop being so jumpy. We're, we're generally on friendly territory around here. Yeah. The Tino should leave us pretty much alone. Ooh, this is quite secluded and out of the way. Um, all, these, all these people around, you'd think somebody would have discovered... Oh, no. Oh no, this individual's in a, a real secluded port. Look at this. Get a job. Uh <laughs> I'm sorry. Get a, uh, I'm okay, I'm not even gonna comment because I'm gonna put my foot in it. Uh oh, this is the shack. Hold on, this is the shack. How do we even get in there? Um through the roof? Yep, yeah, through the roof by the looks of it. Well, okay, I take it all back. I can completely see why uh, nobody would have discovered this particular individual. Oh, no. Wow. Uh, lucky the place didn't burn down. Oh, my God, look at the amount of easy beef here. What have we got? Oh, foodscape. This isn't easy beef. Easy beef is uh, all foods, isn't it? Foodscape synthetic 95% lean, 5% fat beef. Surely not real stuff. Um, okay. So... Let's see if we can verify the work and see if we can find out whether we're just verifying Jax's handiwork putting this guy down. Uh, cat food. Take that home for uh, for the little one. Lulu Beans, uh, Roger Sill, and Jax Kermith and Unknown. Okay. Someone called me from this number. I relived your last brain dance. What did you fatten the girl with? <gasps> Scott Gruel? Who is this? Secret admirer of your work, of course. <laughs> Sorry, man, I don't know autographs to her. Oh, I wouldn't dare ask. Just wanted to share some of my thoughts. Why don't you take it a step further? Meat instead of scop until the stomach bursts. Would you consider it? Special order? Oh, this is creepy. I'd scroll ten of them for the right cred. Maybe even give you a special fan discount. That's what I thought. Meet me in the shed behind Data Inc. I already got the scene set up. What about the cast? And the eddies? Cast will be here any minute. Just sent you the funds. Supreme, let me grab my stuff. I'm on my way. Don't keep me waiting. 
Oh, oh, Jax. Oh, Jax, my fellow. You were set up. And I've got a funny feeling it was you that was doing the eating here. Oh, wow. So was that unknown... Hold on. That's a bit creepy. So was that unknown person from the conversation, the one under Padre's watch? Seems a little bit on the edge to me um good gluttony was not his sin but it was punishment okay the next hidden gem requires you to complete the wakako akada gig uh, olive branch and released alex pushkin from the trunk well, we had that as a requirement elsewhere as well didn't we after we picked up i'm sure that flashed up after we picked up kerry uh Uridine's drone from the north oak sign uh else uh elsewise a hidden gem is unattainable and will be skipped so is this the reason why Padre's, uh, Padre's lackey was so keen for his handiwork to be uh, witnessed. Is <laughs> he taking pride in uh, <laughs> overfeeding the guy until, what, his stomach bursts? Okay. I mean, yeah, he, fine. He did it to other people for uh, profit by the sound of hey, it, friend? producing XBDs. But, um, yeah, a little bit demented that, um, that they wanted that little piece of handiwork to be seen. Okay, anyway, uh, Padre, I could do with another gig, if you please. Good I God, this, this place is absolutely jumping, isn't it? Honey, you gotta tell me how you got... Here we go. Welcome. We need to locate Sergei Karazinski behind Dickie Twister on Congress Street. Uh, hello, V. I've been tracking a group of tiger claws that have been searching for a scav rat. A rat that you may know. Ooh, see if this is the Russian I think it is. <gasps> so Sergei was the guy that we picked the car up from. He'd originally wanted us to deliver that car. Speaking of cars, let's uh, deliver this away. Uh, Beast, uh, thank you very much for your service out in the Badlands, but um, I need something a tad more nimble around here, if you don't mind. Uh, yes, yeah, Sergei was the guy who we had to pick the car up from. Um, hey, oh. you! <laughs> Good beast. Oh, I miss you. Um, and turn that had that was it a Zeta Tech employee or a Biotechnica exec or something like that in the trunk. Um, hmm. So I'm guessing Sergey didn't uh, didn't live much longer after that. His life was definitely in danger for um, <laughs> because we didn't deliver the. Uh, the actual vehicle to the Tiger Claws. Do you know what? This is so close. We may as well just hoof it on foot. All right, we know this area well. This is the back end of Dicky Twisters. We've been here not so long ago. Um, down through here is our, uh, our little point of interest by the looks of things. Right, hidden out behind the... Here we go. Behind these units. Yep. That's our man, Sergei, all right? I remember him, even without the uh, the scramble mask. Stylish jacket and an archive conversation between him and Takao Kasai. Hey, can we play nice? One of you has shoved a rifle in my face today. And I'm honestly shocked you're still alive. Do you have no instinct for self-preservation? Listen, I swear it wasn't my fucking fault. I put that Durak from Biotechnica in the trunk. It was supposed to be a little surprise. I heard he was on your blacklist. I, I did this for you specially, but that Suka Wakako sent let him out. In the USSR, do they teach you of the boy shepherd who cried wolf? And when a real wolf came to his flock one day, not a soul believed him? That boy is you, Sergei. Have zero reason to believe a word you say. I fucking swear Bushkin was in the trunk. Alexander Pushkin! Um, <laughs> I mean, he isn't lying. He kind of was, and we, we kind of did set him free. <laughs> oh dear, we did land him in doo doo, didn't we? He seemed pretty stressed out when we actually um, uh, first met him, so with good reason by the sounds of it. Whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but whoever takes crooked paths will be found out. Hmm. I've got a funny feeling we're going to be hearing a lot of these little. Uh, Passages and um, proverbs from Sebastian Abara whilst we're here. Okay, uh, why do I feel like I recognize this place? Hold on. I feel like I recognize that walkway. Uh, what do we got? Missing person. We need to locate George Hall from the. God, it's loud around here. From the calling unit on Martin Luther King Boulevard. Timothy Baker is one of my face men that works with Valentino's. He had a gig go south. I need you to clean up his mess. Hold on. 
So Tim Baker had a gig that went south, but we need to locate George Hall. Okay, what's the story here? Again, not a million miles away, so on foot we go. This is one of the things that I like about being back in the city. Everything's in such closer proximity to each other. Uh, oh, hello. We're looking onto a rooftop here by the looks of it. Um, oh, hi there. Um, <laughs> everyone's very friendly around here, I must say. I have no reason to live. Oh, uh, maybe not then. Uh, let's maybe take this route up. Hey. Hi. What's got into people around here? <laughs> They're much nicer than I remember. Oh, hello. All right, we have... Uh... Hold on, I probably should have seen what uh, allegiances was. Militech, okay. Yeah, we don't want to go uh, tangoing with that thing. Not that it would put up an awful lot of resistance, I wouldn't imagine. Certainly not, uh, now it explodes. Hello! <laughs> nice of it to park itself in such a convenient location. Well. Couple of dead Tinos here by the looks of things. Um, anyone else around the corner? No, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a few of them. So we had not only this Militech drone, that's been blown to crap as well, whatever that unit is. Not only this Militech drone, we've got a Bombus drone here. And three dead Tinos. So this is the guy that we're after. Presumably then this is Timothy... No, George Hall. Archive conversation between George and Timothy. We're supposed to zero. Uh, we're supposed to zero them, or just make them piss their pants. The second one. But if you kill both of them, the effect will be way better. Just not all of them, or there won't be anyone left to fucking pay. Okay, we're about to go in. Just waiting for the drones to pass. What fucking drones? Oh, fuck knows. Trauma or some shit. Hold on a sec. Let me check. Oh, fuck. Get out of there. Say what? Some fucking corpo hotshots chowing down at Masala with a small army of bodyguards. So fucking bounce. You motherfucker, I'll, I'll fucking kill you. This wasn't part of the plan. And you in the clear? George? Oh, so Tim had sent George. George here in to uh, take care of what? Who? These guys? Or were these part of his crew? Um, but then uh, the Militech drone apparently came in and took care of them all. Whilst overlooking some completely random uh, corpo somewhere. Oh, dear. Thank you, V. As the Bible says, remove the evil of your deeds from my sight. And so we must also keep evidence of these deeds from the badges. <laughs> I like that. Cover your back. Um, next hidden gem requires you to have selected the Street Kid life path. Well, just so happens. Elsewise, this hidden gem is unobtainable and will be skipped. So, right. So this next one is something unique to the Street Kid life path. Let's think. Um... What have we done as Street Kid V that's been uh, quite unique in our travels? Hmm. Right, let's stay on this rooftop so we've got easy access out to uh, to all sides, depending on where we need to be going. Here we go. Okay, we need to locate Sam Carter. Oh, we <laughs> we already did this a long while ago. I think this is. This was back when we were trying to find one of Claire's races, I think. Uh, locate Sam Carter, the alleyway off Pigeon Street. My dear V, do you remember our talk when you returned from Atlanta? I have something I want you to see. Yeah, so this was Sam, the guy who pushed a pistol through the window of the car that Padre and I were riding in right at the very, very start of the game. Blimey, this really is going back. Uh, so we need to read the archive conversation between Sam Carter and Sebastian Ibarra. Uh, Sam Carter and Sebastian Ibarra. Want me to beg for forgiveness? Ain't gonna happen. You clearly do not learn from your mistakes, my son. I feel ashamed for your mother. I cut you loose for fuck's sake. You and that cunt from Atlanta or whatever. Whatever. What was her name? V? You touch my mum and the murk gets lead between the eyes. Do not worry, my son. Not a hair on her head shall be harmed, though I suspect she will be in mourning soon. You've been sitting way too long on that fixer throne Gramps has gotten to your head. To this day, they have not humbled themselves or shown reverence, nor have they followed my law and the decrees I set before you and your ancestors. You think that'll scare me, you crazy old fuck? 
Therefore, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. I am determined to bring disaster on you and destroy all Judah. Beware, my son, and stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. God is watching. Kio de puta. Oh, it can be quite chilling at times, can't he, old Padre? Right? <laughs> um, yeah, that was quite the find when I came across Sam Carter just... Oh, we're next to the epithet. Interesting. Um, just slumped in the alleyway there. As I said, he was gone within the week. The Sixth Street gang have been sent a message and warning about the wrath of God. <laughs> Never cross a man of the cloth. Padre Ibarra, the televangelist that sent us to go and wipe out the, uh, uh, the... Who were they? Uh, Pearsons. Good God. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> yes, Master, I'm at your bidding. <laughs> what do you need? We need to locate Gustav Berger from the fire escape on Porble Street. V, confession is good for the soul and useful information. Remember Jake Estevez, whose vehicle you liberated from the Wicked Tires auto shop? Uh, yes. God, yeah, that was a long time ago. Yes, I do. The reason why he was kicked out was because he was messing with the owner's girl, one Lupe Dolores. Lupe felt the need, need to confess this sin, as well as another, sending the location of another victim of her carnal desires. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. So Jake's girlfriend that he got in deep crap with the Valentinos with and got kicked out of the garage and had to leave the city because he was involved with her had also landed another boy in trouble before. Oh, no. Right. <laughs> That's, um, or maybe since, actually, thinking about it, because, uh, I think Jake skipped town quite a while ago. Uh, so where is... Uh, where is... Uh, like, actually, where... Oh, there it is. Hidden behind the scop joint, uh, symbol there. Okay, could hardly see it. Um, how do I get down? <laughs> Here we go. How stupid of me. Of course people are more friendly around here. I installed a mod specifically to get people talking, didn't I? Um, right. This looks like our fire escape. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. He's laying there just in his boxer shorts by the looks of it. Oh, no. Oh, um. This guy didn't go out, uh, didn't come out peacefully by the looks of things. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, what have we got over here? Anything of interest? A couple of random bits and bobs. This is our target, stamina booster and a gag. Oh no, <laughs> a gag with a special attachment by the looks of things. And an archive conversation between Gustav Berger and Lulid Lupe Dolores. Don't make me beg, baby, you know you want me. Ah, uh, more than you know, but we gotta wait or Jackin will catch us. Jackin, do we know that name? Baby, please, I eat chumps like Jackin for breakfast. I'm craving my dinner, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, my hero. Okay, fine, but back entrance from the fire escape. I'll be all alone and waiting. Sounds like I'm coming in the back then. Twice. <laughs> oh my god, Gustav, stop it. <laughs> oh god. I think you're the only man I ever loved, you know. Oh, you shallow? That doesn't surprise me. Now get your body ready to spend the day with me and my Mr. Stud. And when Jackin returns, you can tell him he's out and I'm in and we can be together forever. Um, okay. <laughs> Oh no! So she was playing, she was playing Gustav off against Jackin, and in amongst this there was, uh, what was his name, Jake as well? Oh my, two timing, three timing cow! All other sins a person commits are outside the body, but whoever goes after the desires of the flesh sins against, sins against their own body. Patre's got a, uh, a fable and a, uh, um, a moral tale for every occasion, hasn't he? Hello there, sorry, don't mind me, just coming through. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. What have we got? Missing persons. Lo city. Locate Trevor Estrada, the Transformer Station on College Street. Matt Reyes is a good kid. He and his tomb do some work for me here and there. He got pinched on the way to save his friend. I have Matt taken care of. I need you to check on his friend. Okay. Uh, well, let's go and find this, uh, this downed tomb, then. Again, not too, uh, not too far away. Answer me. Don't talk to me. Okay, uh, just, just up here, really, with all these people around? 
Nobody came across him? Wow, okay. Uh, what in the world have you hooked yourself into? What's this? Oh no. Um, <laughs> oh dear, flashbacks to the Badlands. Um, so this guy's got himself hooked into this huge machine that looks like it's exploded. Um, we've got Max Duck, Ram Jolt, Capacity Booster. This guy was really beefing him up for himself up for whatever he was doing. And an Ikai conversation between Trevor Estrada and Matt Reyes. It's time. They're coming. <laughs> what? Who's coming? The Techno Neuromancers from Alpha Centauri. A guy I trust told me they want to turn us into slaves. Oh, is this a disciple of Gary? <laughs> we have to stop them because I'm not fucking bowing down to no one. You want the stuff we clipped from that douchebag? Boss told us not to go near that shit. Fuck the boss. Soon I'll be a superhuman and I'll crush my... The boss and the techno neuromancers from Alpha Centauri like ants. Jesus Christ, Trev, just sit, just sit your ass down and don't do nothing. That shit's dangerous. Don't be scared. I got everything under control. I just got to connect and I'll be shooting lightning from my fingertips. When you see lightning in the sky, it's not a storm. It'll be me. <laughs> you can call me Lightning Man from now on. Trev, for the love of fuck, do not connect to anything. <laughs> oh no! All he wanted to do was fight off the. The Sol Alpha Centaurians! <laughs> oh dear. Um. Oh dear, oh dear. One who is wise is cautious and turns away from evil, but a fool is reckless and careless. <laughs> oh well, no regrets, eh? Um. <laughs> Hard to tell if uh, hard to tell if that was somebody that had actually met Gary or was simply following um, the teachings made famous after Gary's mysterious disappearance. Hmm. I'd love to know what happened to Gary, by the way. Uh, we need to locate Santiago Diaz, the alley on Anderson Street. Why do these all lead to alleys? And it's never going to lead to anything positive and rosy, is it? A couple of my badges were doing some snooping using Valentino rats. Then they lost one, Santiago Diaz. They say he fucked up, but Santiago was a sharp kid. Go and see if you can find out what happened. Okay, so Padre's got some cops in his pocket as well. That's quite interesting. I mean, I shouldn't really be surprised. Uh, looks like I might be able to take a shortcut over here. Yeah, here we go. Worm our way through these little... Si Uh-oh. Our adversary awaits. <laughs> um... Can I maybe get a, a foot up here? Okay. Get curious. Right. Be good to me, please. Oh! Ho, ho. Sorry! Sorry! Yes! Take that barbed wire. I win this time. Oh, wait. We're still on the wrong... Oh, God. We're still on the wrong side of a bloody building. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Is this... Oh, this is where we were... Well, that was confusing. I'm sure it was trying to lead us to the other side of this block. Okay. So what have we got in here? Katana? My kind of guy. Uh, Henshin. Grandstand attachment. And this must be Santiago. Yeah, here we go. 466 eddies. And an archive conversation between Santiago Diaz and Renila Tucker. Huh. You fucking gonkers. I can't go there. Told you I'm all burned. You're not. We would know. The fuck how? You're not the only one in with the Tinos. Just go to the meeting and we rip the audio from your hearing implant. You walk in, act natural, and listen up. Easy. No one could screw this up. I know Ernesto, Ernesto su suspects something. If they find out I'm working for badges, I hit the floor in pieces. What the fuck don't you understand? Let me put this another way. If you don't go to this fucking meeting, I'm pinning you with drug and human trafficking charges. Without my help, you'll either rot in a cell or in a gutter. So are you going or not? Fine, but fuck you. Oh dear. Oh no. Well, that's how that little meeting went. So Santiago got in with uh, with some Tinos that were meeting up here out of the way, and uh, they were obviously saw straight through his little ruse. Oh dear, oh dear. They will need to be taught the value of my investments. Thanks, V. Contract closed. Oh, that's interesting. So um, yeah, Padre's none too happy that some cops under his employ. Managed to off a lead under his employ. Yeah, I can imagine that's a bit of a, a conflict of interest. Right. What atrocities have you uh, have you got lined up for us next, Padre? 
John Doyle, corner of Harkinson and Piper Street. V, I need you to confirm the location of a couple of PIs. They were shadowing a Sixth Street gang girl and disappeared. Sending you the last location. Okay. Couple of PIs shadowing a Sixth Street girl. No word on uh, the PI's sort of affiliation, I guess. Right, let's uh, let's use that same cut through again. Whoa! All right, Supron, calm down. Oh, there was a bloody gate here. <laughs> Right here behind this uh, this little partition, by the looks of things. Hold Whoa! Up. Hello. Do I know you? Um, nah. no, I don't think so. Are you aware that your friend is uh, failing to Understood. work out how to operate a bench? City. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, Malto something or other. Ramjol and an archive conversation between John Doyle and Arthur Baker. Case closed. The girl from Sixth Street was working with the Valentino. Give me a break. We watched them for less than a minute. There's no way you could get... You got more than that. You got more from that than me. You see, Arthur, but you do not observe big difference. Is that so? Then please do enlighten me. How do you know they flatlined our client's sister? The Valentino's shirt was dark with sweat, indicating she was in a hurry. The slight scrape on her neck meant that she had recently jacked into the net with shaky hands. <laughs> you got all that from one quick scan? No, Arthur. I bought the Sixer girl a drink and slipped in a pill. She sang like a bird after that. All the little details. Is it a crime to want to wow you with my powers of deduction for a moment? Omne ignotum pro magnifico. Wait, you serious? Now she knows you. She'll have more Sixers on our tail in no time. No need to panic, dear Arthur. I've done this dozens of times. She won't remember a thing, I guarantee it. I sincerely hope you're not wrong. Relax. I'm never wrong. Yes, Johnny boy. Um, look where that got you. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. And it's the other gonk. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, that Sixth Street girl certainly cleared out in a hurry. Um, yeah, nowhere to be seen. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. This is turning into quite the little moral education from Padre Ibar, I must say. Okay, then, uh, Sebastian, what do you got for us next? Locate Jason Northman from the alley on Congress Street. Our client is a retired solo and a friend. He was running a food cart in Kabuki, but had to move to Vista Del Rey. But it looks like his past is catching up to him. Not that he couldn't handle it. Search his would-be assassin for any info. Oh, I thought that was going a completely different way then. So, um, the client's hitman was Jason Northman, I guess. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Right, a few blocks off by the looks of things. Hey, what? Let's call. Uh, let's call the vehicle for this one. Hello there. Halt. Right down here by the looks of things. Uh, right, we've got what looks to be a rather intoxicated Valentino here. Let's hope that they uh, they recognise that we're not. <laughs> we're, we're on the same side. Oh, hello. Looky here. Someone else has got themselves a fancy little uh, arch as well. Also got themselves very dead by the looks of things. Right, so this was our client's hitman. Um, looked like he came sort of fairly well equipped. Archive conversation between Jason Northman and Tony Miller. Okay, I'm here in Night City. Where's the little bitch the pigs cut loose? Snitch says he's in witness protection, cooking some diner or some shit. District's called Vista del Rey. Fine Matnahorn Swiss. He likes to take a puff break nearby. Just don't come straight at him. Doesn't look like all that, but he's still a solo. Seriously? Why a fucking cook? Who wants to flip burgers for the rest of their life? Fuck if I know. Maybe drowns his sorrow in bacon grease. Anyway, don't underestimate him. Ride in on your arch, unload a mag, and delta the fuck out of there. No showing off. Uh, shut the fuck up already. I ain't scared of traitors. Traitor, eh? Ooh. Well, that's interesting. Why was he uh, labeled a traitor? It's a rather nice... Oh, it is slightly different from ours, actually. Yeah, some of the black detailing is uh, really, really quite nice. And the front's different as well. Very cool. Well, this seems to be a different group. These can be hard to find when you fight most of your life. Oh, look at the... Uh, Look at the bronze work on the piping. Yes, I think we'll be taking this for ourselves. Thank you very much. 
Thanks, failure assassin guy. I'll uh, I'll treat her reasonably well, I guess. Right, what's next? Pablo Jumper. As Isaiah pondered, who are these that fly as a cloud and as doves to their windows? I want. Oh God, this is loud. I wonder why there was a motorcycle crashing across the rooftops of my turf. Check this local out. Right, hold on. Let's. There we go. That's a bit better. Jesus. Um, motorcycle bounding across rooftops. <laughs> okay. Right, this is the second time I've been up along here because I can't for the life of me work out how the hell to actually get to this thing. Uh, are there any breaks in the fence that we can take advantage of? There aren't really, are there? Maybe I've got to go down and work my way up. This is really, really baffling. The minimap doesn't even know where to send me either because it's uh, it keeps on cutting out as soon as I get close to it. Oh, here we go. Perhaps this will uh, perhaps this will bring us in the right direction. If I attack it from this side, maybe? Right, where is the actual objective? Oh, there it is. Oh, across that way. Right. This looks likely. Let's leave the stolen vehicle here. That's really nice. I really like that sort of just off black detailing. Very, very sweet. Um, well, let's just get to the other side of this building and see where it leads us. Oh, this is where it leads us. A big drop by the looks of things. Um, can we maybe get up here and then up there? Yeah, that works. <laughs> We're really going to have to Spider-Man this thing, aren't we? Oh, blimey, it's all the way over there. Um, <laughs> am I actually going to have to parkour this? Um, I'm going to take a quick save. I don't feel, I don't feel that confident in my, uh, my parkour abilities. Oh, no. Okay, that could have been worse. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. No. No. <laughs> Mistakes. Okay, let's let's just get down to ground level here. Now we know what building it is, we can at least try and work out a, uh, a more sensible way up. Fire escape, maybe? Yeah, here we go. This is taking us in the right direction. All the way to the roof? Yes, all the way to the roof. Beautiful. Oop. Oh, here we go. Well, there's the motorcycle. <laughs> Who's been leaping rooftops? The hell? Oh, here's the poor unfortunate gonk. Um, very nice little uh, customized Brennan Apollo by the looks of things. Hello down there. Um, right, where did he leap from then? From up there? Jesus, you lunatic. So what have you got on you? 37 eddies. Uh, a couple of bits and bobs. Okay, nice net running outfit. And congratulations, Pablo Jumper. Pablo, congratulations. You just won a once in a lifetime opportunity to appear in a unique BD that's sure to be a hit. Who knows? Maybe this could be your big break. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I, I'd imagine he's uh, he's suffered a, a few big breaks in this little es escapade. Anyway, in honor of the 71st anniversary of the greatest pre-crash video Eastern Europe had the privilege to experience, a video that immortalized perhaps the boldest stump junt of all time, we've decided to release it in BD, sending you the coords. Blah. Go there, get a feel for the place, get in the zone, get in that brave kid's headspace and fly. We want to give our clients a taste of the extreme. We want adrenaline coursing through their veins. We want them screaming in pain and ecstasy, just like that kid seven whole decades ago. Yeah, I'd imagine that the screaming in pain is probably going to be built into this particular scroll. And to do that, we need good, strong material. And we know you're the tomb to give it to us. You've got to run the very edge, walk that fine line between life and certain death. That's when we get quality and you get your money, less the commission and handling fees, of course. So Pablo, start up that editor, start scrolling and leap, jump, soar. Fingers crossed. <gasps> G and F. Oh no, you sons of bitches. <laughs> you sons of bitches.
Wow. Start scrolling. Jump, leap, soar, fingers crossed. Signed, Gottfried and Frederick Person. The XBD scrollers that we took out. Oh. That took a turn. Oh, and there's the wreath. Holy shit. Holy shit. That took a sour, sour turn. Death is not much of a prize to win. Thank you for checking. Oh, I feel so dirty. Oh, even, even after passing on, their twisted influence is still claiming lives across the city. You sick fucks. Oh, I genuinely feel drained after that. Holy crap. Oh, God. Give me something cheery, Sebastian, please. We're locating Peter Bate from the scaffolding on Corporation Street. Venus is an easy one. Zeta Tech has a contract out to verify a former employee's remains. He was last tagged outside the club's seventh hell. Oh, okay. So we're trying to find the remains of a Zeta Tech employee. Uh, where's seventh hell now? I'm trying to remember. Uh... I'm sure I passed it, actually, not so long ago. There we go. Right, at the very, very north end of the glen. Yep. Gonna need the wheels for this one again. Yeah, boy. And heal. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Let's get... Oh, no, I just dismissed it by accident. Rubbish. I was trying to fix the windscreen. Fine. Go your own way. That's all right. I know exactly, uh, exactly which vehicle we can replace it with. Come on, you. Long time no see. Hello, old faithful chum. Oh, you've got a busted windscreen as well. Oh, I've just dismissed that one. Cock, come back. <laughs> oh, God. Right, well, here's Seventh Hell. Uh, oh, just opposite. Okay. Right next to an NCPD callout, by the looks of it. That's not our guy, is it? That Mr. Bates on the floor there? Uh, hold on. Why? Stop targeting the floodlight. Yeah, it looks like we can't get a bead. Our objective is pointing us this way, though. Wait, he didn't fall through the middle of that thing, did it? Oh, oh God, look at the blood. Hold on. So what did, did Mr. Bates... What, come out of seventh hell or, like, stabbed or shot up or something and came over here? Uh, oh. Yeah, he, uh... He got hit pretty bad by the looks of it. Oh, there's another one of those poison... Yeah, another neurotoxin knife. Nice. I need to look into that, actually. I didn't look into the last one that we picked up. Um, what have we got? Interesting little top. Uh, some shoesies, a ram jolt, and an archive conversation between... Oh, Peter Bates and Zeta Tech Security. Code red. Requesting immediate help. Please describe threat parameters. Stalking criminal threats from a psycho I fired yesterday. I know it's him. Request denied. What the fuck? Why? Lack of credible threat to life. I'm sitting in a club with him waiting for me outside. He came here for me. You don't call that a threat? We advise vigilance. Please contact the NCPD if you seek further guidance. I'm not leaving until you send someone. Request denied. Oh, oh, oh. Zeta Tech left him hanging high and dry. Oh, dear. So, yeah, it looks like he walked out of seventh hell, got stabbed up, and uh, presumably with that neurotoxin knife, I guess, and ended up over there. Zeta Tech confirmed the data. Easy money, V. Wow. Um, kind of grim, but okay. Thus is the life of a corpo in NC. Look at the number of... Uh, the number of Rayfield Caliburns around here. Bloody hell, this is an affluent area, isn't it? What do you want? Locate David Roy in the trash pile off Lincoln Boulevard. District Attorney David Roy, the DA? It's known to be friends to the Valentinos and a resource of mine. He's missing and my source of trauma got its last location before the Biomon went offline. Find out what happened. Oh no. Somebody murdered the DA? Oh god, that can't be good. Trash pile, where's that likely to be? Um, Could be anywhere around here really, couldn't it? Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, right next to Embers. Okay, that's foreboding. Yes? Hello? Uh, all right, hold on. 
We're being sent over the wall here by the looks of it. Wait, is this... Hold on, is this an actual entryway? No, not really. Uh... Oh! Oh, I know where this is! Hold on! I know exactly where we are! This is the wall! This is the wall that I vaulted across right at the very, very start of the game to get down to uh, that garage. Do you know what? Whilst we're here, for old time's sake, let's just visit the underground garage, if we can. So this is the Ember's garage by the looks of it. Ah, oh, it's out of action. Oh, damn. Yeah, that goes down to the garage where we first met Jackie Wells. God, that's a blast from the past. Uh, and is also not where we need to be. Um, right. So let's take a look over. Oh, oh. Well, that's very well hidden away, isn't it? All posh. Trashy. Okay. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, dear. Oh, you met a very sticky end. Where's your head? Have you got a head? Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, claw taste ultra durable short puffer and an archive conversation between David Roy, district attorney, and Alonzo Ortega. Circumstances have changed. We need to meet. What is it now? My compensation. I skimmed through the files. This appeal isn't going to be a cakewalk like 76. You're up to your ears in it this time. We had a deal. I'm not putting my neck in the line for any's. This, uh, on the line for any's. This is enormous risk for me. My reputation, my position. What fucking reputation? Don't make me laugh. Joy Joy's on, uh, Joy Toys on Jig Jig got more of a reputation than a fucking DA. Watch who you're spitting words at. One call and your probation goes out the window and you know what they do to fresh gangoon meat like you. Cool it. You'll get what you need. Valentino's are good for it. Good. Could have said so from the start. Oh, so the Tino's off him! Oh no, I'm getting away from here, but oh no, 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 don't want anything to do with that. No, thank you very much. <laughs> oh no, a dead DA! Oh, Alonso Ortega. He will not have to worry about going to prison ever again. Contract close. Padre is not happy with that little turn of events. Oh god. Well, I'd imagine he isn't. One of your own offs the district attorney. It's going to uh, it's going to attract a certain amount of attention, isn't it? So what's this? Is this? Yeah, that's embers right there. That's all building. Huh. Maybe it won't be too long till we're walking in there. Uh, but in the meantime, missing persons. John Anderson from the cooling station on Schofield Street. Hello, V. Our client is looking for a game programmer named John Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson was part of an elaborate plan to penetrate the corpse data fortress, but they lost him, sending you his last known location. Is this, is this a reference? Is this a reference to what I think it's a reference to? Let's not indulge too deeply until I can uh, figure, figure out exactly where we're going with this. Right, uh, middle of a highway. I'm not going to hoof it on foot. Oh, hello. That's not what I wanted to do. Up there, apparently. Go take a little look-see. Oh, hello. What have we here? Random piece of uh, epic grade loot. What do we got? A crafting spec for resist. What a funny feeling we probably already got that, but uh, hey-ho. Take it anyway. Okay. Uh, up on top of this little hut, by the looks of it. Uh, well, that was a complete and utter fail. Oh, come on, V. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. Oh, dear. Is that Mr. Anderson over there? Whoa. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I think this is exactly what I think it is. <laughs> For Johnny to check in like that. Um, wait, did he... Oh. Did he take a tumble from on high? Wait, what? Where's that gantry from? Yeah, that gantry has fallen off of somewhere. Wait, he wasn't edging out on outside of a... Yes, look, 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 this is exactly what it is. <laughs> he was edging around a window ledge, escaping from some agents in an office block. I bet you any money and he lost his footing. Phone went down first, then so did he. Skill shard with blades and an archive conversation between John Anderson and Orpheus. <laughs> They're coming for you. 
Who? Get up and look. Don't recognize them. Irrelevant. What matters is, is what they'll do when they find you. Fuck. So what now? You need to leave the office. Now. Okay. I'm making a break for the elevator. I suspect that's a bad idea. You'll run straight into them. So what am I supposed to do? Teleport? I'll help you, but I'll need your full cooperation. Okay, talk. Take a right out of your cubicle. Don't look back. Stop. We good? Yes. Go in the room on the other side of the hall. I'm there. Now open the window. What? Open the window. There is a ledge. Use it to reach the emergency exit. No, no way. I'm afraid of heights. Trust me, it's the only way. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, wow. Um, well, that took a very different turn than uh, what is popularly believed. I gotta be honest, I was half expecting to find a white rabbit blast on the wall here that we needed to follow. Uh, Orpheus figured in the Netwatch agents, the corpo security, and everything else into his calculus. Everything except a faulty fire exit. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, I love that. I've got a lot of time for that. Thank you, CDPR. <laughs> right, um, what's next? <laughs> Any other pop culture references for us? We need to locate Olena Sorokin from the storage area on Congress Street. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. Anton Popov is one of those seeking peace. However, the KGB are in pursuit of him and his tomb butter. Where Anton has chosen the path of the lamb, Elena has taken the path of the lion. Go to the location Anton specified and try to talk her into joining him. Okay, so Elena and Anton are running from the KGB, but Elena, what, presumably has either turned to crime or has chosen to try and, what, stand up to the KGB? That doesn't seem like a great idea. Where are we on this one? Oh, dead ahead by the looks of things. Right behind this building, by the looks of it, in the pedestrian area. Uh, What's oh. your rush? Down here in this um, conspicuously shady looking alley. <laughs> I hope I don't meet any unsavory types down here. Are you an unsavory type? No, 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 you look far too uh, accommodating. Oh, in here? All right. Why do I get the feeling we're going to find uh, Olena in a pool of her own bodily fluids? Yeah, pretty much as I expected it. Wow, she built... Oh my god, look at this. This is like a little Thord operating base. Yubi. She's got some bomber drones. Wow. She was ready for World War III. So what actually took her out in the end? Other than those overbearing loudspeakers. Right, let's take a look. Um, she's got a legendary jacket. That's a nice jacket. And a conversation between Olena Sorokin and Anton Popov. We got lucky. Nadeza and Akulov are in Night City. I know. Come to do some biz with the Japanese. I Oh, hold on. Akulov. Nadeza and Akulov. So they knew Mikhail Akulov, the Soviet fixer who was in town who we, um, we may have failed to stealth take down. But um, anyway, um, come to do some business with the Japanese. I've got a place to lay low and I'm out. Out? You, you mean you're out of your fucking mind? The fuck are you afraid of? They don't even know we're here. Please don't be naive. They know. They know everything. Yeah, if I remember right, Nadeza was the... Was that the net runner that was out in the middle of the junkyard working for Mikhail Akalov? She very likely had a, um, a trait on these two. And you're an easy mark. Your shady weapon stores like a goddamn flashing hologram. Zero me here. I'm not about to forgive that bitch for what happened in Omsk. Neither should you. What's done is done. At least we're alive. Fine. Go ahead, piss pants. Run away. <laughs> piss pants. <laughs> Run away and hide. I'll zero her myself. She's got the whole KGB behind her. Maybe you forgot, but they don't remember us kindly either. So don't play the tough guy here. Oh, don't make me puke, you pathetic. I'm out. Got a client. Some incognito solo could use some meds before the op. Oh, no. I wonder if... Got a client. I wonder if that client they came to visit was actually uh, on Mikhail Akalov's payroll. Oh, dear, oh, dear. 
Well, this feels all sorts of icky. Shut the door behind me. Lay her to rest. Too bad. Today the lion was no match for the bear. Mmm, so it would seem. Oi, oi, oi. How these old tales, these, uh, these encounters that we put behind us so long ago come back to still bite us in the ass. Incredible. Come on in, Padre. What do you got lined up? I do like the detailing on the edges of these buildings. Very cool. <laughs> complete aside uh we need to locate the trucker the construction site off palms view way v this is very important i need you to check out a trucker that lost control of his rig and plowed through a concrete wall i need to know the cause now the badges are still there so be careful they're not mine oh a trucker plowed through a wall why is padre so interested in a trucker that's uh, lost control of a truck Maybe he didn't lose control. Maybe they were forced off the road. Okay, this is the site... Apparently... Up there? Oh, calm yourself. Oh, wow, okay, yep. Yeah, I think I found out where that truck went. Right, let's just check out the surrounding area. No cops out here, so presumably they're inside is that the truck looks like it why is why is padre so interested in this thing there's not even any cargo on it by the looks of things um there's also no cops that's slightly conspicuous wait this isn't an ambush waiting to happen is it i don't like the look of this uh there oh god <laughs> how did he get his head through the wheel that's interesting um how hold on how do i how how does one how do, do, through the windscreen yeah through the windscreen okay that's fine um 561 eddies and an archive conversation between mike nelson and teela vanilla oh dear sounds like a porn star name uh hey doc help me out legs killing me i drive a semi it makes it a real pain on the job I'm not sure what i can do long distance what implants you got militech first gen from back in the war three bodies on my back and still uh set a new record in the 100 meter booyah three bodies on my back oh god was that was that some sort of sporting event or literally hauling corpses off the battlefield uh, anyway but my new zeta tech thighs acting up uh well the thighs not the issue it's the compatibility the what well you've got two different softs in there don't want to work together so what do we do could get you a new zeta tech implant cheaper than the military issue just as good I ain't got the eddies for new chrome right now besides the old ones still working why have i got to swap it better think of something else doc no, you better. You don't got the eds, don't waste my time. Fuck. That's right, all you care about is cred. Couldn't give a rat's ass if I lose my job. Hey, I gotta make a living too, so don't test me or I'll charge you for a consultation too. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, okay. So his old corporate war era Militech implants, what, failed him and he lost control of the truck? I mean, those, those sort of <laughs> wraparound flip-flops probably didn't help. Thank you, V. That is a relief. Transferring your payment. Uh, I'm guessing then that Padre thought he'd been taken out on the road. Hmm, very curious. Um, yeah, no sign of these, no sign of these police either. Not that I'm begging for police to be here. You, you understand? I, I don't want them to be present. Next up, locate a Six Street ganger. Oh, do I have to? Rooftop on Ro Royo Loop Street. Okay. This Sixth Street ganger must have lost his mind or has a death wish. He walked into the middle of a group of Valentinos and smacked the biggest one's lady. Oh, God. <laughs> then took off running. They chased him for blocks but lost him. But I know of a spot the Sixth Street gang hide out around where he disappeared. See if you can find him. <laughs> what a gonk. What have we got? Um, Anywhere near? No. Okay. A few blocks away. Not a problem for Jackie Wells Arch Nazari. Beep beep. Right around this bend. Oh, here's the NCPD. Okay, interesting. Let's pull up short. Looks like they've got someone at gunpoint on the floor. Who's that? 
Some poor gonk by the looks of things. Okay. I am not interested in getting involved. Oh. What do you got under those nails? I think I'd rather not know. Okay, just up here in this little compound by the looks of it. Excuse me, Mr. Stud. Coming through. Well, 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 V. You really are disappointed today, aren't you? That's better. Oh. <laughs> yep. You met uh, a rather abrupt end by the looks of it. Let's see. What do you got on you? Ramchalt and an archive conversation between Chris Mulligan and Tom Wheeler. Yo, you still got that bike? Yeah, why? Jim, you got to come pick me up. I lost them for now, but they're going to find me. Who? The Valentinos. The fuck you do this time? Ah, I just wanted to scroll to Virtue. You even had a name for it and everything. Twelve angry gangers of me legging it from the Tinos. Wow, genius. What could possibly go wrong? I think my implant overheated because I could barely move my legs. You coming for me? I'm here. Oh, I forgot to mention bikes at the shop getting repaired. <laughs> Don't bullshit me, man. Sorry. Get a Delamain or something. <laughs> or uh, call a combat cap. They're everywhere nowadays. He'll zip over, no questions asked. Probably afford it now with that Nova Virtue of yours. Tune, please don't do me like this. You still there? Oh, <laughs> something tells me that uh, 12 angry gangers will not be reaching a BD store near you anytime soon. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I heard a wise woman once say, stupid is as stupid does. Yes, quite so. Is this a gate over here? Nope. Sixth Street Dot to Disrespect says you shall not pass. Um, back over this way then, I guess. All right, Padre. Anything else up your sleeve for us? I already have five. You can't we need to locate Felipe Sir. Alva from the store. Sir. Will you be quiet back there? From the storage facility on Skyline South. It appears that Netwatch is keeping an eye on the Valentinos and have been for some time, which means that they may be watching me as well. I found out where they interrogated one of the Valentinos. Go check it out and see if there's anything there. Oh, wow, okay. We're getting involved with Netwatch investigations? So what business have Netwatch in investigating the Valentinos? Tinos certainly aren't famed for their net running, as far as I'm aware. Cybercrime isn't really their thing. But it's a funny old city, you can be surprised. This is our place by the looks of it. Oh, hello. Right, there's a Bombus drone scanning over there. Is that Netwatch? Or is that... Hold on. No, never mind. It's just his kids found a new toy. I mean, it's possible that he lifted it from a Netwatch agent, but... Uh... Really? Well, take the virtual headset off and uh, they'll all go away. Magic! So, you know, she can catch hold of ledges like that, but not the obvious ones. Um, <laughs> how am I going to get across here without being stung by bloody barbed wire again? Um, I've not got much of a chance, really, have I? <sighs> well, we'll give it a shot, see what happens. <coughs> oh, okay. The barbed wire got us, but threw us the right way. So, um, thanks, I guess. <sighs> Nothing a little bit of food won't... Uh... Hold on. There we go. Point fix up. So just down the side of here. Right, we should be careful, really, I guess, just in case there's any Netwatch agents left over. Oh, hello. Oh, no, it's all right. Well, it's homeless bums around, so presumably Netwatch has cleared out. Wait, where is this? Oh, it's in here. Hello. Oh, dear. Oh, somebody had fun. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm getting Jeffrey... Oh, Jeffrey Dahmer vibes off on all of this. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, we've got a police with ballistic vest and an archive conversation between Felipe Alva and Mark Winston. Get me out. They marked me. I'm a dead man. What's going on? They started snooping, got some Ripper on board. He gets me in this, that seat and comes out. I got optics, and it comes out. I got optics recording. Shit, you know what the Tino does to Tinos do to un undercovers? Oh, I'm having real trouble with language recently. <laughs> Look, I know you're scared, but everything's under control. Hang in there a little bit longer. The hell are you waiting for? I've already been with them a year. You got everything recorded. 
Murdered, torture, smuggling, armed robbery. <gasps> this guy was an undercover NCPD agent in with the Tinos. So it wasn't... Oh, I'm guessing it wasn't Netwatch that killed him. Oh, no. Uh, you're waiting for him to kill a cop? You're fine. Just calm down. No fast moves. Easy enough for you to say, sitting on your ass behind a desk. Just hurry up. We're doing what we can. Report back tomorrow. Agent Alva, report. We've got a plan to get you out of there. Felipe, do you copy? Oh, Felipe was a turncoat. He was an undercover cop all along. He probably was spotted once or twice with Netwatch agents, but that was probably just for um, for sort of like a debrief and an update. It was the Tinos that took him down. Thank you, V. Not much there, but no mentions of me, which is good. Luckily, I do not rely heavily on tech. I'm old school. Oh, no. Wow, okay. Well, that was a that was a lucky dodge there, uh, Padre. Let's see, where... Hold on. Do I know this place? I do know this place. I've delivered a vehicle to that garage before. Uh, hidden stash. Locate the stash at the storage facility at Skyland South. Oh, that's right here. I have it on good authority that a group of six street gangers are storing some explosives in a garage off Skyline. Confirm this for me. I think I will make better use of them. <laughs> right you are. So this is likely to be close, I would guess. Really close. Nice. Oh, it's... Yeah, same storage unit. Okay. Easy level. Let me play. Well, that was nice and easy. Can we hack this remotely? No. Hopefully tech skills can get this open. Oh no, we can force it. Nice and easy. I probably should be exercising caution seeing as this is apparently full of explosives. Um, let's not take a single step until I've verified this place is okay. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Uh, ooh, she's got some nice gear in here. Oh, hello. That's a fancy little uh, harness. Nano weave techie harness. Very cool. Like I said before, we're picking up a hell of a lot of um Ooh, and a punk knife. That's new. Hell of a lot of legendary grade gear recently, aren't we? Rifle ammo. Newspaper clippings. A couple of low grade servers by the looks of it. Um Defender. A few grenades. And a message. Very cryptic. Got everything you asked for except the incendiary grenade, so I'm tossing in five francs free of charge. Oh, and watch out for the touch-sensitive triggers on the mines because they're delicate little sons of bitches. One crooked move and you'll be a heap of ash and bone. Let me know when you kick off because I'm fixing to be on the other side of NC. <laughs> Lab like that's bound to put on a fireworks display. Oh, interesting. Play safe and have fun. 20 frag grenades, 10 flashbangs, 5 anti-personnel grenades and 7 anti-personnel mines. A lab like that. So 6th Street, we're planning on hitting a lab? What sort of lab? I'm not aware. I've We've come across one or two labs in Tiger Claw's territory, but never 6th Street. Sebastian, you know anything about this? What are the uh, the boys and girls been up to, eh? Has Santa Muerte been watching over you? That's unsettling news. But I thank you, V, for the intel. Payment is incoming. Huh. Um, cool. Right, I think that is about all we got. Oh, and just to celebrate it, we're up to level 61. Beautiful. One more level, and we can travel out to see the Aldecaldos and pick up some juicy hardware. Um, but yeah, that's about all we got time for this time around. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, much appreciated. If you'd like to leave a like, or you get to leave a comment, then pop those down below as normal. And I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, guys. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.